Are you sure? Yes. They called it the Pillar of Autumn. My Why was it not destroyed with the rest of their fleet? It fled as we set fire to their planet. But I followed with all the ships in my command. When you first saw Halo, were you blinded by its majesty? Blinded? Paralyzed? Dumbstruck? No. Yet the humans were able to evade your ships, land on the sacred ring and desecrate it with their filthy footsteps. Noble Hierarchs, surely you understand that once the Parasite attacked... There will be order in this council! You were right to focus your attention on the Flood, but this demon, this Master Chief... By the time I learned the demon's intent, there was nothing I could do. of truth, this has gone on long enough. Make an example of this bungler. The Council demands it. You are one of our most treasured instruments. Long have you led your fleet with honor and distinction. But your inability to safeguard Halo was a colossal failure. I will continue my campaign against the humans. No, you will not. Soon the great journey shall begin. But when it does, the weight of your heresy will stay your feet, and you shall be left behind. was about to fail. There's viscosity throughout the gel layer. Optics, totally fried. And let's not even talk about the power supply. You know how expensive this gear is, son? Tell that to the Covenant. I guess it was all obsolete anyway. Your new suit's a Mark VI, just came up from Songnam this morning. Try and take it easy until you get used to the upgrades. Okay, let's test your targeting first thing. Please look at the top light, good. Now look at the bottom light, all right? Look at the top light again. That's it, now the bottom one. Okay. Everything checks out. Stand by. I'm gonna offline the inhibitors. Move around a little. Get a feel for it. When you're ready, come meet me by the zapper. Pay attention, because I'm only going over this once. This station will test your recharging energy shields. Your new armor shields are extremely resilient. Very efficient. Bingo! As you can see, they recharge a lot faster. If your shields go down, find some cover, wait for the meter to read fully charged. That, or he can hide behind me. You done with my boy here, Master Guns? I don't see any training wheels. His armor's working fine, Johnson, so shut your chilly hole. You're free to go, son. Just remember, take things slow. Don't worry, I'll hold his hand. Come on, Chief, they're ready for us on the bridge. Get on the lift, Chief. We're gonna be late. I don't want to keep the brass waiting, Chief. Fine. You can tell Lord Hood why we're late. Get your shiny green posterior on this elevator. 
Would it help if I said please? So, Johnson, when are you gonna tell me how you made it back home in one piece? Sorry, Guns. It's classified. Huh! <laughs> My ass! Well, you can forget about those adjustments to your age. Well, he's in a particularly fine mood. Maybe Lord Hood didn't give him any invitation. Earth. Haven't seen it in years. When I shipped out for basic, the orbital defense grid was all theory and politics. Now look, the Cairo is just one of 300 geosync platforms. That Mac gun can put around clean through a Covenant capital ship. Coordinated fire from the Athens and the Malta. Nothing's getting past this battle cluster in one piece. Ships have been arriving all morning. Nobody's saying much, but I'll bet something big's about to happen. You told me you were gonna wear something nice. Folks need heroes, Chief, to give them hope. So smile, would ya? Well, we still got something to smile about. Another whisper, sir, near Io. We have probes en route. Uh, I apologize, but we're going to have to make this quick. You look nice. Thank you. Sergeant Major, the Colonial Cross is awarded for acts of singular daring and devotion. For a soldier of the United Earth Space Corps, Example for all who would break our covenant. <laughs> Commander Miranda Keys, your father's actions were in keeping with the highest traditions of military service. His bravery in the face of impossible odds reflects great credit upon himself and the UNSC. The Navy has lost one of its best. directly off our battle cluster. Show me. Fifteen Covenant Capital ships holding position just outside the kill zone. This is Fleet Admiral Harper. We are engaging the enemy. Negative, Admiral. Form a defensive perimeter around the cluster. Commander, get to your ship. Link up with the fleet. Yes, sir. You have the Mac gun, Cortana. As soon as they come in range, open up. Gladly. Something's not right. The fleet that destroyed Reach was 50 times this size. Sir, additional contacts. Boarding craft and lots of them. They're going to try to take our Mac guns offline. Give their capital ships a straight shot at Earth. Master Chief, defend this station. 
Yes, sir. I need a weapon. Right this way. Stand by. They're latched. Check your targets, watch the crossfire. They're in standard formation. Little bastards up front, big ones in back. Good luck, Cairo. Field of fire on that bulkhead. As soon as that door opens, let them have it. I need a squad in Habitat Alpha ASAP. Station 4 is under attack. <laughs> 
Check it out. The Malta's already driven up its borders. Malta, what is your status? Over. I don't believe it! They're retreating! We won! This is bad. Real bad. Mika, how you been? Hey, 
Hey, they're leaving the Athens. Cortana, assessment. That explosion came from inside the Athens. Same as the Malta. The Covenant must have brought something with them. A bomb. Then they sure as hell brought one here. Chief, fight.
pursuant to Office of Oni Retrieval and Acquisitions Inquiry of 26 September 2552. The following is a target profile of Thel Vadami, Supreme Commander of the Covenant Fleet of Particular Justice compiled by Lieutenant Commander Locke. First confirmed contact with Vadami came in 2535 on an unofficial human colony known as the Rubble. After action reports from civilians, as well as Spartan Units 006, 111, and 120, suggest that Vadami was at that point a relatively minor functionary of the Prophet of Regret. Spartan 006 engaged Vadami in combat on the Rubble. Both parties survived the encounter. Shortly after 2535, the UNSC first encountered the newly formed Covenant Fleet of Particular Justice, now led by Vadami. Review of early engagements with this fleet show that it quickly grew in size from 5 to nearly 60 ships, as Vadami cut a path in many human systems. Oni Section 3 made multiple attempts to anticipate or even track Vadami's movements at the cost of a number of operative lives. Vadami eluded all such efforts and he continued his unpredictable and devastating campaign. Vadami also stands out from other Covenant commanders in the frequency in which he takes a personal role in ground assaults.
Almost on board when they showed up. Don't worry, ma'am. We're on. Thanks, Chief. I owe you one. Center. They have a bomb. Can you defuse it? Yes, but I'll need the Chief's help to make contact with the detonator. Chief, get to the bomb. Double time. Cortana, prioritize time. First echelon, you're with me. Blanket those cruisers. Take them out one by one. Second echelon, keep those carriers busy. I'm going loud. There are quite a few elites guarding the bomb. You may need to get creative. The first carrier completely ignored. 
ignored us, sir. Blew through the Malta's debris field and headed straight for Earth. There are quite a few elites guarding the bomb. You may need to get creative. Inside your head, now. How much time was left? You don't want to know. Cairo, this is an emberclad. The carrier shield is down. I'm in position and ready for immediate assault. Negative, Commander. Not against a ship that size. Not on your own. Sir, permission to leave the station. For what purpose, Master Chief? To give the Covenant back their bomb. Permission granted. I know what you're thinking, and it's crazy. So, stay here. Unfortunately for us both, I like crazy. Just one question. What if you miss? I won't.
inside. Gear up. We're taking this fight to the surface.